is scene four of Annie Jr. Again, with Grace. And I didn't quite explain this in my last video, so sorry about that for people who were confused. But, um, when I do... When I go like that, that means that it's Grace talking. That way it isn't, like, awkward silence. And so I make sure that you, you get enough time to say what you need to say because I'm saying it to like the syllables of and speed of what I would normally do. And I will really try not to mess up this time. Also, you can hear my sister singing in the background. Ignore her. Okay, here you go. Here is scene four. Good afternoon, Miss Farrell. him any minute. Do you really live here, or is this a train station? Quickly, everyone. Hi, everyone. May I take your coat, miss? Will I get it back? The floors. I'll scrub them first. Then I'll get to the windows. Green is her best color. No, blue, I think. Soap. No bubbles, I think. The silk. No, the satin sheets, I think. I think I'm gonna like it here. When you wake, ring for Drake. Drake will bring your tray. When you're through, Mrs. Pugh comes to take it away. No need to pick up any toys. That's okay. I haven't got any anyway. Everybody. Hello, everybody. Sir. <laughs> it's good to be home. How is your flight from Chicago? Not bad. Only 11 hours. Grace? <laughs> Messages. <laughs> I'll get back to him tomorrow. <laughs> all right, good to see you all again, sir. Drake, dismiss the staff. Yes, sir. And Grace, if you'll get your notebook. Who is that? <laughs> That's not a boy. Orphans are boys. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Well, I suppose she'll have to do. Annie, huh? Annie what? Well, I'm just Annie, Mr. Warbucks, sir. I haven't got any last name. I'm sorry I'm not a boy. Not at all. I couldn't be happier. Grace, we'll start with the figures on the iron ore shipments from Toledo to... What are we supposed to do with this child? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we got to do something special on your first night. Would you like to go to a movie? Gosh, Mr. New Warbucks, I've never been to one. Then you'll go to the Roxy, and then at an ice cream soda at Rumpelmeyer's, and a handsome cab ride around Central Park. Golly! Grace, for a bit about the dictations for tonight, instead you take Annie to the movies. Yes, sir. Aw, oh, gee. Something the matter, Annie. It's just that, well, I thought you were going to take me. Oh no, I'm afraid I'll be far too busy tonight. Aw, oh, gee. Now, Annie, I've just been away for six weeks, and when a man is running a multi-billion dollar corporation. Oh, sure, I know. That's okay, Mr. Warbucks. Drake. Yes, sir. Get our coats. Ah, oh, gee. Grace, you'll come too. Which car will you be wanting, sir? The Duesenberg. No, wait. This child's been cooped up in an orphanage. We'll walk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why not? It's only 45 blocks. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, smell those bus fumes. There's no air like the air of New York. Come on, you slow pokes. We gotta get to the Roxy before the prices change. And that's the end of scene four. Thank you. Bye.